Hi, um, hi there. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. My name is Hunter and um, I have a doll haul. Um, I guess y'all were expecting this return for a while. Um, I've been off YouTube for about like five or six years. When I was like young, young, when I was like a kid, I used to do it a lot. And I would like film videos with my dolls and stuff. And I'm on my scooter. See, scoots. And people get killed. Lexa, congratulations, girl. Ooh, yeah. Bye, my next day. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, that was cringy. It was cringy. It was cringy as hell. Like, I'll insert, like, a clip here. But it was cringy. But we're not doing that stuff anymore. Today, I'm grown up. I have dolls that I bought with my own money. Uh, I'm 17 now, by the way. When I was filming back when I was younger, I was, like, 12 to, like, 14-ish, I think. When I was, like, young, young. But now I have dolls to show you in a haul that I bought from eBay Mercari. So, I think we'll start with the used stuff because that's easier to, like get a grasp of rather than the the more important stuff so basically first thing i bought was this passion for fashion wave on sasha from mercari i saw her in a lot and i thought oh well i want that doll but she didn't have her her legs were deattached and um, i was like okay i can just attach them i can't attach them i thought i could so but this is her She's so, her torso is like smoke damage or something. It's like more saturated than the rest of her. But I think this doll's pretty. Like, I think she could be like good to like take pictures of. I saw, I know someone who used her in a doll next top model. And I thought, oh, she's cute. So yeah. Also, do you guys like my makeup today? Um, yeah, I also do makeup. So if you want makeup videos, I can do a makeup tutorial. Don't, 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 don't do it. Oh, ew, no, we're gonna cut that. Um, and then there's, I had this doll as a kid when I was younger, and it was like one of the vivid dolls I remember going to like Walmart and picking out in like 2011, and that would be the like Express It Chloe. I, she, I bought her complete, but her outfit somewhere. It's like on other dolls right now. Like I took apart the pieces, but I put her on a, she came in a regular body actually. And she's actually really pretty. I think the 2010 screenings get disrespected. Like, at first when they came out, like, sure, they have, like, bad hair. Her hair doesn't look that bad. It looks like it, with a straight end, it'll be cute. But overall, the dolls, like, they were, I like them. I don't have a problem with them. I just, I wouldn't change anything but the hair quality about the era and the feet size. But she comes with, like, a purple jacket and it like stay into the back of her neck. You don't see it, so it doesn't really matter, but I just thought I'd point it out because it's like something that the seller didn't note. And then another doll, oh wait, there. I got this doll off the Facebook Marketplace from Lady in Canada, I think. And she was selling Flower Girl Sasha, so I was like, ooh. And I already cleaned her up and like put her in an outfit. Um, Here she is, I think. It's cute, like I'm running out of Bratz clothes for my dolls, so that's why, that's actually foreshadowing. I was running out of clothes. Shut the fuck up. We'll see. Um, she's cute. I like Flower Girl Sasha. I love this screening on Sasha particularly because I think it just suits her well. It's like one of her best screenings. Um, like with most older Sashas, like, or like Sasha's in general, like her, her face is like really shiny. It's always with my Sasha dolls. Their faces get shiny. Like her face is bat pretty matte, but like hers is quite shiny. Also, um, while cleaning her, I messed up her part lines, so I had to, like, redo it. I didn't redo it. I just flipped it and, like, <laughs> parted it. That's why, like, one side's thinner. Because I don't know how to thatch it all hair. Maybe I'll have to try it again. But her hair is still not that great. It needs another boil wash, and then she'll be good. But, yeah, that is Fargo Sasha. Ooh, her glove is falling off. And then, 
um, next. So I was talking about clothes I need for dolls. I came across this listing on eBay and it had like nine fashion packs on it. And they, like the older ones, like around like 2003. And they were like, it was like 30 or 40 bucks for like nine fashion packs. I'm like, it was like $4 a pack. I was like, that's probably just asking for one. Cause like Bratz prices right now are insane. It's like a inflation of Bratz, but it's not. So I got three girl ones and six boy ones. So the three girl ones, um, I got the beach one. And I love the packaging for these. They're just so nostalgic and cute. Like the toy of the year stamp and like it's obviously for chloe skin tone i didn't get any with anyone else and the glasses fell in the thing i am gonna open these for a review if you guys want to review the fashion packs because i just think it would be cute um and then we have the shopping spray fashion pack which um this one i don't love as much i think it's these shoes i don't like this like bigger brat shoes i just don't like these ones especially i prefer shoes that are more like the fashion show mold or like businesswoman. I do like the sneakers and the um like first edition Chloe shoes. I think those are cute, but like these aren't cutting it for me. They're not cute. They're not giving what they were supposed to give. It's not even giving what y'all said it was supposed to give. And then we have the um first date, which I think is cute. It's like gold and it acts as I have this jacket already and these shoes. I have this dress, but it's like ripped. So uh I have this brand new now. I think it's really, I, it's not my favorite. I'd say I prefer um, the beach one the best out of the three because it's like summer's coming up. So yeah, and then the, for the boys ones, they shipped it in a store box. And I thought, look at that. I thought that was so cool. I, I, kept, I kept it, of course, for the video. I'm probably just gonna throw it away after this because it's cardboard and it's old. But um, we got six boy fashion packs. So we got the school cool the the boys fashions they're cute i like them um i think the jackets are really cute if you put them on like a mod body and like cinch them i think that's like a really cool like look for like an oversized coat but um my boys do need more clothes because i have like a couple boys and i don't need this many but i'm gonna get into brats boys more because they're really underrated i do think they're cool and so the school cool i love this jacket I think it's really cute with the corduroy. And then it has a belt. Like, we don't get this in fashion dolls anymore. Bratz really set the bar up for quality, even in their male dolls. And then we have the Chance Encounter. These are all really dusty. Um, this jacket looks exactly like the one Formal Funk Ethan has, but it looks more matte in comparison. It's a for Ethan, too. Um, I have this shirt. It has, like, a weird pattern on it. And then these, like, khaki, like, pleather pants. It's interesting. It's very dated, to say the least. Um, and this is my least favorite one, the Fizz Ed one. It comes with this, like, brown sweater with, like, a shirt under it and the jeans. I have this one, too. It's all right. Not my favorite, but it's all right. That's okay. My God. Hopefully that's better. Oh, my God. So then we have Saturday Night Fever. This one's really cute, too. It has another, like jacket like that really cute these are like the best shoes out of all of them i also own this shirt underneath and these pants it's like all these denims and all these pants are like they're wide leg which is like sort of like trendy but like it's also kind of like dated too because like the fabrics aren't that like the denim isn't that cute oh this is one of my favorites of all of them the um friday night fever i love the sweater and the jacket like this one's on time period like i'd wear this it has like a sweater and like a fun little jacket and some jeans. It's cute. It's giving. Are all these Eaton's? Hold on. Eaton. Oh no, this one's Kobe. This one's Eaton. This one's Cameron. Okay. They're all different. And then the other ones were Chloe, Megan, and Yasmin. But those shoes aren't Yasmin's skin tone. Okay. All right. And then we have the Dream Day one. And this one comes with a suit. And I think this with the first date outfit like a cute little matching moment that'd be cute except the first date chloe outfit is more like a gold like warm toned outfit and this is more like a like gray and red suit um maybe this would go better with the first date one yes yes gaga you look so good and that's all the brats boy ones and then so that's what she said and you know what i what was that Okay, 
James. Yeah, that was those. If you want to see a video on those, I will do one. But for now, they're going to stay in the haul video. And I'm going to move on to what's next. So next up, we have uh, inbo two Inbox dolls. One of them is a boy and the other one's a girl. So the Inbox boy one is Formal Funk Ethan. I wanted more boys and I like Formal Funk Ethan the best out of the line of the boys. And I thought his like outfit was really cool and can be interchanged with like fashion. Um, I don't like this shirt, but the metallic pants, the jacket, and the whole like the suit, like in the accessories, it's a cute little moment. And he's and I like his screening for a boy. Like he has a big forehead and all, but like his face is really cute. I like the screening. And like the formal funk dolls are nostalgic. Cause they're like the packaging so grand and like they're big, but his box is opening, so we're gonna open him in a review. Um, and then there's the back. There's like the poor Lloyds, and then there's like the uh, the comb fell to the back. Oh my god. There's like the prototypes, which are just like first editions dressed in the outfits. And it says I come with four piece formal funky wear, two piece out two piece after party outfit, two pairs of shoes, cool threads and fashion napkin, collectible boutique for the brats, and ton of styling stuff. I love Bratz branding so much. So cool. All right. And yeah, he is number 6,852 out of 23,400. Whatever that means. The toy of the year again, which was the whole, there was a whole thread I found on Twitter by I think Melancholy Minaj. Melon, hey girl. Um, About how like the toy of the year, they were banned. Bratz was banned like after a certain year from Barbie, I think. More Bratz versus Barbie stuff. And then the, so yeah, that's was that. And then the final doll we have is a really, like a really good doll. So um, recently there's this like store in Texas where a bunch of like box brats have been popping up at and like they have so many and it's like a bunch of like, I guess like stock that was left over from stores. And they have it, and, like, they had a ton of dolls and stuff. And people went and, like, bought the dolls, and then they, like, are now they're reselling them. I wish I lived in Texas, because I would totally go and, like, get dolls and stuff. But I like, managed to snag one of the dolls from there for about, like, like 50 shipped, like, 35 with shipping. I saw a cheaper one, and I was mad after I bought this one, but I already put her on hold, so I just got her. Ladies and gentlemen, her people in the community or like some of my friends call her like Felicia but she's not the same skin color she has just the same screening and honestly this Sasha doll is so gorgeous oh there's glare of my lamps um she's a gorgeous doll like her peach color scheme she's just such a beautiful doll <laughs> can we talk about the artwork can we talk about the whitewashing it's awful and then UPS shipped this which I was mad that UPS shipped it so there's like cracks in the packaging and like dents and stuff so I'm she's gonna be open I was gonna open her regardless though and then she has like a little bow on the back and then on the back there's the prototypes which I love when Bratz did prototype images rather than just artwork because it's so cute to see like the party scene and like the photography back then and like at MGA this Chloe came out so much cuter than the actual doll I wish we got her uh, the Megan is, like, about the same amount of cute. I have her on my shelf. She's, I like her. And then this Yasmin looks, so, like, the same, too. I like the Yasmin, kind of. This grading on Yasmin was done a lot, but it wasn't my favorite. But I think with her, it was done okay. Um, so, yeah. Sasha and, J um, Sasha and Yasmin had similar dresses, but Chloe and Megan had, like, similar dresses. It was, like, divided. So, like, they were, like, kind of matching, like, opposites. It was cool. And then on the back it says, It's my party. Sing, dance, laugh, and shout if you want to, because birthday girls just want to have fun. Exactly. Includes a camera. This camera is, like, old. I, like, I thought it was cute when they include little stuff like a tiara or, like, the little cameras. I thought that was, like, a cute little thing with the birthday dolls. Because it's like, oh, like, another gift on top of a doll. I just really, <laughs> they should have came with outfits instead of a camera. But she, you don't need two outfits to have a birthday bash in, you know? You can have a fun little fit. This peach dress is so pretty, though. I actually really like it. And the earrings. I need more brass jewelry, so I'm happy to own this. Another thing. This is, like, a random note for the fashion packs, but in the fashion packs, why did they just include clothes? Like, early in the earlier ones, they include, like, the bags and, like, the shoes. But, like, later on, they just kind of included the clothes. I wish they, like, included accessories because there is, like, a brass accessory pack for the boys and the girls. But the boys one's easier to find, but the girls one, like, is hard to find, and it goes for a lot when it does. So, like, 
honestly, I wish they did more stuff like the accessory packs, like, later on in, like, 2005 to 2009, but that's, like, a random note. So, yeah, because I need more Brad's jewelry, because, like, I would love more, like, Brad's jewelry, because, like, I only have, like, a couple pairs of earrings and a couple pairs, like, things for photos. So, this, I will be using these for a photo. And I like the holographic background. It's cute. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. That's everything I have for the haul. I don't really have anything else I bought recently. There was just, like, the three doll, the three loose used dolls. Then there was, like, all the fashion packs. And then there was formal funk Ethan and birthday Sasha. Let's try to get a thumbnail in. So, let's... So, then we put Sasha over here. Oh, this is gonna be hard. I already know it. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay. If we put her here... No. No. Okay. No! Okay, this is not happening. Maybe I'll just edit them around me because that's too much work right now. I can't hold all of them up. But, um, yeah. Let me know what other content you guys want me to see from me down in the comments below moving forward. If you want to see unboxings of the Sasha and the Eaton, let me know. If you want to see doll restoration videos, let me know. And if you want to see reviews on these fashion packs, let me know. I'm probably just going to do them because it's my channel. But, yeah, the this is the reputation era of Hunter Bradley. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys watch along, enjoy the videos, and I'm just here to do something else, because COVID is boring. I'm bored. <laughs> um, I actually, no, work and school has me very stressed, but yeah, so that's about it. Um, her glove keeps falling off. Oh, well. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell so that every time I post, you get an update. And yeah, this is the beginning of a new era. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, have a nice day and see you guys later. Bye.